welcome everyone to my one of my favorite uh, Zeb songs. Frankly, it is. I think this. I don't know. For some reason, this song just speaks to me, and I've always loved playing it. And um, I haven't played it in a while, so I wanted to relearn it. And there's a ton of lessons on it. And um, so this, I'm going to call this my selfish lesson because this is the way I like to play it. There's a ton. Like I said, there's a ton of different interpretations out there, but. Um, for me this works best so hopefully it'll help you um, the tuning everyone says is D G D G D G and then B and D uh, the recorded version is actually I found a half step down okay so rather than D I'm at C sharp and so forth so if you take D G D G B D and tune it down a half step, you'll be in tune with the recorded version. Now when they play it live, that is the tuning they use or um, some alternate versions I've heard. But um, we'll speak to it as that. So um, again, this is kind of a selfish lesson because this is how I like to play it. So hopefully um, it might work for you. Okay, for this intro, what we're gonna do, the chords will be on the uh, second string, first fret, and our um, second finger on the fourth string at the second fret and we're going to slide that up to the third position so it'll be a three and four then we're going to slide we're going to pick down on just the first string at the fourth string and then we hit our a string fifth string i'll just talk to them as you know normal tuning so so far we have this Then we're going to go backwards and hit that fifth string, okay? And then we're going to do this chord, the same chord, but we're going to add our ring finger down on that first string at the second fret. Okay? So that's the chording. Now what you want to do is a down, up, down, up, all right? And then down, slide. With a, with a strum and then a down on that uh, single note and then we're going to hit our A string back and then just back to that chord so it'll be down, 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 down. back to the first position and then off and then we're going to hit that string the fifth string and then we're going to do so it's like we're doing down, up, down, up, and then back into it with open. All right, that's the whole rhythm of the uh, verse and the intro. So here's the next section of speed, and then I'll break it down. I'll take it from one last uh, takeoff of the verse. doing after that uh, last takeoff we go into this chord okay fifth string at the third fret and the second and third string and we let the rest ring open we really don't play the sixth string throughout this song then we're going to go through the first half of the uh, verse going to do that hammer on we go right to the chord again at three then we slide that up to seven so after seven we're going to come back with something a little different I'll call this the turnaround which take us back into the verse 
So I'll take off from 7 at speed and then I'll show you what we're doing. So we're back through it. So from seven, we're coming back and we're going to take that same chord, but we're just going to move it to a different string. We're going to move to the first and second string, third fret, and the fourth string. And then we go to that chord we know from the uh, second half with our ring finger down. And then we're back into the rhythm. So that's how they turn it back around into the verse. Now in typical Page style, the second time they go into the verse, he does one little different thing, and I'll speak to that just to add to some realism of it. So um, let's take it from the verse, all right? So I'm going to go into it once, and then to our chord, and then back through, and then up to seven, and I'll show you what he does different. It's when he gets to seven is what he does different, okay? so. So we know we've come up to seven, okay, now he's just going to go five, six, seven, three times. Then we're into our turnaround. And then we let the, the open strings ring. and. Then at the 12th fret, we're going to hit a harmonic on the 6th through the 4th string. All right? And that takes us into the outro. The first half of the outro goes like this. All right. So what we're doing there is we're going to hit open. And then this time we're going to be on the... Uh, first fret second string and our middle finger will be on the actual fifth string at the second fret. Then we slide that up to the third and fourth. Then we're going to put our, um, I use my ring finger down on the second string here at five and again this middle finger follows up to five and then we're to that seventh fret chord. So all together. then the next section and then we'll put them all together. Alright, I'll show you the next part and then we'll put them together. Alright, so what I'm doing there is open chords, then I go to that fifth fret on the second and fifth string, move it up to seven, then I'm just hitting the top half of the chord. So I'm going about from four through three, and I've got my first finger on the fifth fret. And then to the, the bottom half of the chord with my ring finger on the fifth fret. Okay, to about the fourth string. All right, so we have this. back to that chord at the seventh fret with our two fingers at the uh, top strings. Then he goes back into the rhythm from the beginning. So see how
how that fits together. In the uh, recorded version, that's how he ends the song with that. <laughs> And that's how I play um, That's the Way. I'm going to do uh, mandolin cover two for guitarists. So um, I had fun learning that so I could uh, jam along with that too. So I hope everyone enjoys.